I'm back again with another exciting video. Today, I'm preparing jambalaya. The ingredients that I'm using to make my jambalaya are spices, chopped vegetables, rice, chicken, chicken broth, and I also have sausages sitting to the side. Let's start cooking. Place your pan on a medium heat. Then drizzle in your olive oil and let your pan heat up. Then add in your diced chicken and sliced smoked turkey sausages. Did you know that jambalaya originated in Louisiana? It's similar to gumbo, but the only difference is the rice is cooked inside the dish with the rest of the ingredients, and as for gumbo, it's cooked separately. The best thing about jambalaya is that you can prepare this entire dish in one pot. If you haven't already, go watch my gumbo video and see how the gumbo and the jambalaya are prepared. And then you'll be able to see the similarities between both dishes. Press subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on your notification bell. Let's continue on with the video. Space the meat out so everything can cook evenly. Continue to stir frequently to prevent the meat from sticking to the bottom of the pan. Next, season your meat with oregano, smoked paprika, Creole seasoning, adobo, a little bit of chicken bouillon, Old Bay, and Basil. Mix these ingredients into your meat and then add the top and let it cook for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, stir your meat, then add in your freshly chopped vegetables. Green bell peppers. Celery. and white onions. Now mix in your vegetables. You want to cover and cook these vegetables for one to two minutes or until slightly tender.
you want to give your dish a quick stir to make sure that your meat and vegetables are not sticking to the bottom of the pan. Also add in poblano peppers. Diced tomatoes. One can of stewed tomatoes. and diced garlic. Quickly stir the vegetables and move most of your meat to one side of the pan. Next, I'm pouring in two cups of brown rice. With the two cups of rice, add in four cups of chicken broth. Next, you want to mix in the rice evenly throughout the pan. Add in some more seasoning to flavor your dish. I'm adding in adobo, smoked paprika, oregano, and three bay leaves. Bring your chicken broth to a boil, then cover with a lid. Turn your heat down and let your jambalaya cook for 30 minutes without removing the lid. After 30 minutes, this is what your jambalaya should look like. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Bye. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next upcoming video.